Hello, I am Well Wasp, and welcome back to part three of Planet Coaster. Today we're doing something a little bit different, and well, you'll see. Uh, starting off, I needed a queue building for what I had planned, and someone on the stream had a really good idea, so I started work attempting to replicate that um, with varying degrees of success. Again, I found pillars um, a problem, as I always seem to. Um, but the building I did base it on, as you'll see, is this that you drop in. And as you might have guessed by now, I gave up on that idea. Um, I'm not sure if it's possible to do something similar to that, maybe. But it was beyond me, especially when I was tired. So I went with something a little different. Something fitting more to the ride which I was going to put at the other end of this queue building. Uh, which, if you hadn't guessed, this is going to be the pirate ship which is probably not the best of plans because I'm just completely removing a theme from myself uh, to do a different area because, well, Pirate is the only one we have and I've just built this in my Art Deco main street so I guess I could have more than one Pirate ship but overall I'm very happy with how this turns out and who doesn't love tiles anyway? Um, so here we are, just adding a little bit more decoration getting it ready to go into place and, uh, well, you might be thinking, this doesn't look very Art Deco, does it now, Well Wasp? Well, there is a cunning plan. You see, the same guy who helped me in Twitch thought that this would be a nice thing to base it on. Sort of between Art Deco and Sponge Tiles. Um, that is actually the Grand Central... Let me look this up, otherwise I'll forget it. It is Grand Central Airport in California. It was an old one combining those two elements, which was quite unusual. And uh, in my second pass video, which I keep going on about, I'll be uh, looking at sort of not doing the same thing, but something similar, bringing the two themes together. And while not perfect, I'm quite happy about how it turns out. Um, and now I'm doing my favourite thing, adding a ridiculous amount of foliage to everything. Um, right now, this was my best idea I thought I had. Um, the brick building made a very, very nice dual facade. Um, I can use the front of it for that nice Art Deco look and the back became an amazing sort of uh, castle to fit with the pirate theme but I was having a massive chew getting this to fit in with the pirate ship swinging overhead apparently they won't let us uh, put a building where the pirate ship would hit it it's completely outrageous I want my guests to be able to leap from my pirate ship onto the castle down the sign and then use the toilet this is what all theme parks should have but after a bit of perseverance and some uh, str strange additions, uh, I did get it working. And it's not the best castle I've built, but I think it's uh, pretty good just for a, a swinging pirate ship. Um, messing about with the little props there, I didn't think they fitted very well though. We did have the staff entrance and we couldn't remove that, so instead I added a little cave with a little seaweed curtain. Because nothing says staff entrance like seaweed. Um, I felt I wasn't as happy with this as the castle, but I thought it was quite a nice, subtle... Well, it's not subtle at all, I guess. Um, it seemed more suited to what you see in theme parks with these fake rocks on the back of stuff. And it just helps to build this area into just another little oasis away from the Art Deco Main Street. My favourite bit is coming up just now. Um, I'll share that when I get to it. I'm probably killing my poor little 660 with all this ridiculous uh, little bushes. I do love them though. Um, and here we go, this is my, my highlight for me anyway. Um, and I'm very happy with this. Not only do I have a little ramp, I figure, how does this stuff get onto this ramp to begin with? So, a crane, obviously. Um, doesn't get better than that. I'm looking forward to us getting water in this game because I'll just be building docks. Don't have any use for them, probably won't put any rides there or anything, just for my own pleasure. Docks all over. It's a shame that uh, everyone was on the internet while I was recording this on Twitch because it's just really choppy. If you think this is bad you should see it one times. I didn't realise that my uh, one viewer was having to put up with this. It is quite atrocious. I apologise to you my one viewer, especially after you gave me such great ideas as well. I am a horrible, horrible, shallow person. Um, next time I'll uh, 
try to get everyone off the internet before I start streaming. Uh, as long as I spend doing all this theming, I spent just as long putting in ridiculous lights. Uh, it's just something amazing doing this. And this is the moment which I've also discussed where I keep deleting my own lights, as you'll notice when I put them in and suddenly they disappear. Um, even the ones where I spent ages, like that one lighting up the fire on the back wall, and I could not get another one back there to replicate this look. I was very disappointed with that, and spent quite a while trying to do it. This is probably what turned out the best in my opinion. I was very happy with how this green sort of shows up lighting the trees. I thought it was a bit strange to start with, but overall I'm very happy with how it turns out. I do want to do a second pass on the skull and the pirate ship, well not the pirate ship but rather the little bit of wreckage there. Um, I was very happy as well putting that mast in there. Now we've come to the end of this so here is my attempt at showing you what I've got. Unfortunately the footage is far too choppy to do anything with so this is what you've got. So thank you for watching, goodbye and uh, I'll see you next time.